Hey guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Hope you're all doing well today. I'm on here with a BB Craft unboxing. So I recently did a collab with BB Crafts via the um, YouTube program that they have over on their website where you can receive um, some free items just by promoting um, promoting their goodies on your channel. So this is my second time doing the collab with them and I'm going to leave a um, coupon code down below for you guys as well which is love letter 5 as well as all the links to all these um, items that I'm about to show you. And I actually got to choose a fair bit this time so I have a lot of fun pretty things to show you guys. So, first things first, um, I ended up grabbing this fun, I'll just move these to the side, this fun like jewellery findings box, it's like a little set, um, Pendle Hall Elite Creativity on Fingertips, so it's to create like all your jewellery sort of pieces your dangly charms and it comes in this cute little box so we'll just open that up just move that out of the way what pretty packaging as well how beautiful is that so i'll just get into this so everything comes wrapped nicely so it doesn't move around in the post and nothing can get wrecked or lost. It's like all shrink wrapped basically, which is great. So I ended up choosing this package here, this little box, and it comes with all these beautiful pieces here. I chose gold. You've got all your different size, like clasps, clasps to make your... Um, like your ribbon clasp dangly charms, similar to those Maggie Holmes garden party ones that came out. So you get quite a few in here, lots of the, the bigger size ones, which are perfect because I only have some of the smaller size. And this little um, set here, you get all different sizes, which is amazing. So you can see here, these are in little bags, which is perfect. Just get it open for you guys. So you've got your smaller clasps. And I'm pretty sure they had a set in the silver as well. Um, you've got the bigger size up. So they pretty much go from the smallest size to the biggest size you can get in these. So really good. You can do the tiniest, cutest little like dangly charms with these. So this is the second time I'm doing a collab with BB Crafts because I had quite a lot of fun with the, um, the first lot of items that I received from them that I wanted to do it again. And they've just got so many beautiful things on their website. I just I have so much trouble trying to decide. So these are the next size up. It's just too many pretty things that I want to play with. So as you can see there, they go from, yeah, small, they get bigger and bigger and bigger till the largest size, which I showed you guys just before. But I'll leave the link down below so you'll be able to check it out. It might even have um, measurements on the website. Um, you also get these little, um, like, jewellery findings, so little itty-bitty jump rings. And these little pieces here, I'm not too sure... 
um, what you use these for, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> but they just came a part of the set. They're just, I think, if you want to dangle, like dangle it off maybe the, um, the lobster clasp. That's what I think they're for. And there's your, um, your lobster clasps there. So as you can see, you get quite a few. I might just take that out of the plastic, actually. And I love working with gold. That's why I chose the gold. I pretty much use gold in most of all my projects. Unless I'm like playing with all heart or some collection like that. And then you get a whole heap of chains. So they're already cut for you. So if you don't have a tool to, um, what do you call it? Um, oh, I say it all the time in all my videos and now I'm having a blank. Like the tool you use to cut your chain. Like your wire clippers, but yeah, I'm not too sure they're called wire clippers. I could be wrong, but you guys get the idea. You can get all the little bits of chain so you don't like the work is already done for you, which is perfect. And you get so many of those in there. So you can pretty much just grab everything, add all your, your beads or your ribbon or whatever to these. And yeah, it's done pretty easy. I'll just leave those ones wrapped in there because um, there's two different types of pieces in there and I don't want to mix them up. So that is a great set for someone who's wanting to get into um, making tassels for the first time little dangly ribbon tassels and charms and things like that key rings so the other things that I grabbed were I'll move everything to the side we'll look at each one so I ended up grabbing these beautiful charms They are so gorgeous when I saw these I just had to have them I thought these were the coolest thing ever look at those how beautiful are they I just thought they were so fun and funky like it's an image of this beautiful lady and the colors are amazing so you get five pieces so you get the yellow, a green, a pink. There's another green. So it's kind of like a mixed um, variety. So you sort of don't know what. And then an orange. Aren't they gorgeous? I thought they were so beautiful. And I think I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with these pieces here. It's just something really different to, the, to what I usually craft with. Then I ended up grabbing a whole heap of ribbon, all different like rainbow colors. So there's some whites in there. Look at that, all that fun ribbon for me to play with. So you can probably tell what I'm going to be making with these products. <laughs> so you've got this beautiful, like aqua sort of turquoise color ribbon. You've got a beautiful sort of like mint green color. You've got like a burgundy. That's a really pretty burgundy color. Um, red, like navy blue. Um, white, beautiful bubblegum pink, a pastel, well, it's just a paler pink, a bit paler from the bubblegum, if that makes sense, maybe like a oh, carnation pink, beautiful, um, like 
soft yellow, almost like a mustardy color in a way. Um, a deep purple. A really pale, like pastel pink. We got brown. You just tell like oh black, like look at all those colors. So many different colors for me to play with. Um, then I ended up grabbing some more beautiful charms. I thought these were also really interesting. And extremely pretty. So they're like a little gold leaf charm. I don't know if you guys can see there. How beautiful are they? So pretty. I think you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pieces in this charm pack. I thought these would look gorgeous. Maybe even just dangle a few things, do a couple of ribbon tassels and that's going to look really pretty, I think. Just an idea that I had. So we'll see how it turns out. They are gorgeous. And then we have, what do we have here? I think this is another little, like little kit. Oops. Yep. So just grab them out. So you've got to be careful with this because these are actually glass. So I ended up grabbing a little kit where you um, you get the glass domes. And then these little silver pieces here. So you can create your own dangly charm or necklace. Just your own little pendants, basically. So you could pop like an image in here and then you would use the glass dome piece to then seal it up to create some beautiful pendants. So I can't wait to try these out as well. Again, something I've never done before and I can't wait to try it out and play with them. So you get a really good amount of those in there. I'll just show you the glass domes. I just gotta be really careful. Usually I play with um, like the plastic sticky adhesive ones. These ones are actually glass and they're quite thick. So as you guys can see there, So I'm pretty sure you get 10 pieces of each and then you can just, they should fit in your little piece like that. So cute. So can't wait to play with these goodies. So yeah, I'll leave all the links down below and um, yeah, stay tuned guys. You'll be able to see um, some of my projects um, soon maybe in the next couple of weeks and um yeah thanks for watching and take care guys bye